These videos are intended as refresher training and pointers for our contractor and wholesaler partners. These short videos are not intended to replace a Navian training class. Please contact your local wholesaler or manufacturer's rep to schedule a training class for your company. If you are a service tech servicing a Navian unit, please contact Tech Support at 800-519-8794 and record your service visit by the serial number for that unit. Navian records all service on all units for future reference. If you're a homeowner, please do not attempt to service or adjust your Navian on your own, as service by untrained persons voids the Navian warranty. Please go to Navian.com and use a dealer locator on the website to look up a local service provider in your area. Hello and welcome back. This video will help explain cold water sandwich effect with a tankless water heater and also lag time in your plumbing system, the time it takes you to get hot water to your hot water faucet. It will also help you answer the question, will a tankless water heater help me get hot water faster? So first, let's talk about what lag time is. Lag time is simply the time it takes you to eject all of the water that's cooled off in the hot water pipe down the drain before the hot water leaving the water heater system can get to your faucet. What you'll notice a lot of time is the barrel of the pipe, let's just say that's your pipe, and this is room temperature water up here. When you start running hot water, obviously the hot water is leaving the tank or tankless very hot, but in the pipe it's mixing, right? So you have a temperature gradient scaling up. So if you say this is room temperature and this is your set point temperature where you want the hot water to be, the difference in time from here to here is going to be your lag time. Does that make sense? Now. In a standard house, you may have 100 feet of pipe between the water heater and your furthest plumbing fixture. 100 feet of 3 quarter inch pipe holds about 2.5 gallons a minute. So, if you're flowing a 1 gallon a minute faucet and you have 2.5 gallons of cold water in the pipe before the hot water gets to you, your lag time is going to be about 2.5 minutes. Now, a lot of homeowners out there are going to swear up and down it takes 10 minutes, but if you time it, most houses are between 2.5 and, and 3 minutes to the furthest fixture. So the question is, is a tankless water heater, sometimes incorrectly called an instantaneous water heater, going to help me get hot water to the furthest fixture sooner? And the answer is maybe, probably not. So let me explain. A tank type water heater has cold water that comes in through a dip tube that's delivered all the way to the bottom of the tank. Your hot water tap comes off the top and goes out to your house. This tank is always on. So guess what? Hot water can migrate up that pipe. As long as that pipe's going uphill, you may have hot water in several feet of pipe. Now remember, this tank's always on. It's always keeping hot water hot. It has standby heat losses. It has standby losses in the piping connected to it. But when you get rid of that tank and put a tankless in, all of this hot water pipe is now going to cool off because this machine is always off. This saves you energy, but it may actually make your lag time problem a little worse. Now, what can we do about that? There are several ways that we can make your hot water delivery nearly instantaneous, and we're going to go over that in the next video. But right now, let's talk about cold water sandwich and explain what that is with a tankless water heater. So let's say somebody out here in the house takes a shower, and they've got hot water running in that shower. All of this hot water main is going to be full of hot water. The person in the shower gets out, a few minutes later, another person gets in. This pipe is still full of hot water. From the tankless water heater all the way, is totally full of hot water. But the tankless has turned off. Now it takes about three to five seconds of time for the tankless to fire up and start making hot water again. So for those few seconds, cold water leaves this tankless, followed by hot. So basically you end up with hot water in part of the pipe, cold water in part of the pipe, and hot water behind it. So if you're in the shower and you just hopped right in because the water's still hot, you're about to get a surprise. That water is still mixing and it's going to drop probably 5 to 10 degrees on you and that's what's called a cold water sandwich. It's not a malfunction, it's totally normal with a tankless and it's actually fairly rare. The only time you're going to notice it is when someone gets out of a shower or stops using hot water, then hot water is restarted again before the pipes cool off and that first slug of water that leaves that tankless is unheated. That is a cold water sandwich. So, can we do something about that? Yep, with a Navian we can. So how do we eliminate the cold water sandwich with a Navian? The NPEA models inside the water heater, there is a heat exchanger where the hot water is made, there's a little internal circulator, and there is a one liter storage tank on board that's insulated. And the Navian can be set up for internal recirculation 
which basically will run hot water from the heat exchanger into that tank and maintain that tank at your set point temperature. So, no more cold water sandwich. The Navient can act like a tank water heater, eliminating the cold water sandwich for a tankless, while still giving you the benefit of very low standby losses because everything else is always off. And we're only keeping about one liter of thermos bottle of hot water ready for when you need it. This also makes the Navient's minimum flow rate to get hot water zero. Because it already has hot water in it, if you turn on a faucet with a trickle, you're still going to get hot water. No other tankless in the industry can do that. That also will minimize any extra lag time that you might get from pipes that have cooled off because the water heater is always off. So now, what if you're trying to get hot water faster to the outlets? The Navians have actually several different ways to do recirc in your home to get you hot water nearly instantaneously. In the next video, we're going to describe in detail the different ways that we could do hot water recirculation in a home. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down there and check back often for new videos here at Harry Ackloff and Associates. Thanks for watching.